One of the glorious things about truly shitty times is that great people emerge. And one of these great groups is this group, NHS 100,000. If you are still on Twitter, I mean, I was banned ages ago, the festering little turd of a platform. But if you're still on Twitter, um, nearly said Twitter then, uh, NHS 100,000. Why not go on there? Just join, just follow. It doesn't matter if you're vaccinated or not. It doesn't matter if you're NHS or not. Just go and follow and support these great people. The NHS 100,000, I th actually think it's many more than that. It's just that no one wants you to know it. Are the 100,000 individuals who've worked forever inside the NHS, who love their jobs, love their patients, worked all the way through the pandemic and are now going to be fired in April for refusing the state injectable. I think one of their number, the um, consultant anaesthetist, Steve James, did a brilliant job the other day with the bald headed thunder twat, Sajid Javid, pointing out why he didn't want the vax and why he was going to be fired as a result of that and how the NHS is going to lose these incredible workers. Let's remember not so very long ago when they were all working and everybody else was hiding in their homes, people were told to stand on their doorsteps and sky clap for these individuals and now they're going to be fired. So whatever your views, it doesn't matter if you're vaccinated and pro-vaccine. It doesn't matter if you've had 55 boosters and you're going to have another one up the arse. Good for you. But I'm sure many of you can also see that it should be personal choice and that these NHS workers should not be fired for making their own personal decisions. So remember, um, NHS 100,000 and their little badge or their little symbol they're going to be wearing is like a purple pin. Hence me coming out in this terrible cardigan that I rescued clearly from the 1970s. Um, so if you see anyone wearing a purple little pin and you can give them a cheer on do, if you can sign up for NHS 100,000, that would be terrific. And to all of you who are inside the NHS and are being true to yourself, um, I hear you, I have your emails and I've read them personally. I know many of you are under pressure from husbands or wives. Oh, just have it. Why don't you just have it and keep your job? You have mortgages, you have kids to feed, you have responsibility. You love your job. The pressure is immense. But one thing we know for certain is that when we are united, we are strong. And when we are divided and they manage to pull us apart, we're much weaker. The longer you can hold the line, the longer you stay strong together, the much harder the government position becomes and it's impossible to defend. So anybody out there, pro or not, please join the NHS 100,000. Um, show them your support and a huge thanks from the rest of us uh, because you're one of the greatest things to come out of these shitty years that we've all been living through of late.